Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to break down scenes in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. So what are scenes in Doodly? Well, there are two types of scenes that we talk about when we're talking about scenes in Doodly. Down in the timeline here, you'll notice I have a scene. And if I want to add a new scene, I just simply click the plus sign and I can add a new scene. That's pretty basic Doodly 101. However, in this tutorial, we're going to talk more specifically about scene templates. And those are pre-created scenes that Doodly has made for you. You'll find them over here in the Scenes tab. Let's take a look at them real quick. As you can see, there are scenes for living spaces, offices, schools, medical providers, coffee shops, beaches, landscapes, industrial settings, city streets, transportation, and so on. So how do we use a scene template? Well, let's go ahead and put one in this empty scene that I created a few moments ago. Let's take this one here. It's a living room scene, and it's got a character sitting there thinking about life. Now, one thing I want to point out is that you always want to put your scene template into an empty scene. Otherwise, it will ask you if you want to replace the contents of a current scene. Like so. So now I have two scenes in this video that I all I had to do was drag and drop them from the scenes panel. Let's take a look at it real quick. And you'll immediately notice that the hand draws every single item. Now this is fine in some circumstances and in others you may want to make some adjustments. In this case I believe this scene runs 45 seconds which in my opinion takes way too long to draw everything out. Of course if you have a story that you need to tell and it makes sense to have it go on for this long then by all means that's fine. But just be aware that you can control this scene duration, okay? And I'll show you how in just one moment. Okay, I'm going to fast forward a bit. Oh, it's almost over. Okay, and now here's our second scene. And this is the one that we just added. And again, we're talking a good 20, 30 seconds to get this scene drawn out. So I would like to show you how you can change the duration of your drawings and your scenes. So let's go ahead and close that. So what you want to do is go over here to the duration settings. You'll notice every single item has a default duration of three seconds. Now that means something really large and complicated like all these walls take three seconds. Well, something tiny like this little umbrella also takes three seconds. In my example, I don't even want them to draw everything. I'm going to have just a few things be drawn. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn this to zero. So the wall is already pre-drawn. And maybe this box. Yeah, these things are not all that important to, to deserve so much focus of the video. So this background stuff, I'm going to make it all zero. Except for maybe, you know, maybe we're doing this video about a moving, a moving company that's moving in these sofas or a furniture store. So the furniture store people are going to deliver the sofas. Okay. That's what we're going to say. Now I've got the sofa and the sofa. This mirror is in between them. So this sofa is going to draw, then the mirror, and then the sofa. I'm going to rearrange that. I don't want to stop the movers and have all of a sudden the hand drawing a mirror, okay? I want the focus to be on these two images. In my fictional example here, I want these two to be the only things that draw and I want them to be the very last things. So I'm just going to drag them down and then I'm going to set the duration on these other items to zero. And now when I preview, the entire scene should be there with the exception of the two sofas. And that's the case. So any comes and he does the, the drawing of the sofas. And then we're off to the next scene. Now you're not 
stuck with this layout. You can move everything around if you'd like. You could delete items if you'd like. And you can add items. Let's add a character. Let's go over here and add one more scene. Once again, I'll click the scenes tab. So we have this little lady shopping at a grocery store. And maybe that scene is exactly how we want it. So this time around, I'm not gonna change all the durations. You know, maybe we have this long involved story about the lady buying her groceries. But what I wanna do is use some of these same assets in other scenes. So I'm gonna scroll over and I'm gonna add another scene. And right now it's blank. But here's what you can do. Instead of trying to find this character in the characters list or find all these props, you can selectively copy and paste them into your fresh scene. So let's have a scene here with this lady all confused about what she wants to buy. So we're going to select her and this shelving here. And I guess her cart as well. Now, they're all three selected. I did that by pressing the control button while I was selecting them. And then I'm going to hit control copy. So control C. Or if you're on a Mac, it's command C. So now that those are copied, I'm going to go into my blank scene. I'm going to do a paste. So control or command V. And here's my lady with the groceries. Now, since they're still all selected, I'm going to increase their size. Okay, now I'm going to unselect and I'm only going to select the lady. I'm going to flip her so it looks like she's kind of looking over here, like what should I buy? And then maybe we can add a thought bubble and we'll add some text. And that looks nice. Of course, we're going to want that scene before the one where she's at the checkout counter. So we just want to move it over so it comes beforehand. So as you saw, I just kind of dragged and dropped it over here. So now the scene will go like so. We have the lady going, oh, so many choices, followed by her successfully checking out at the checkout counter. Let's say we want to draw attention, you know, mainly to our lady here. And we're not concerned with all this detail here being so prominent. So what you can do is you can select your items once again by using your command or control button and selecting them together. So I'm going to select a good portion of this background. All these shelves, I think we would like to just make them less prominent. I think that should be good. So I've selected the items. Now I'm going to click the gear icon and I'm going to turn the opacity down. I'm going to turn it down to 50% and see what that looks like. So you'll see that the two characters and their little interaction are just a little bit more emphasized than the background behind. And that's the basics of working with scenes in Doodly. Thanks for watching. Bye.